Sorry. Yo! Again, hi, it's me. So I'm trying something new. I am attempting to uh, restore my dash. As you can see, these hairline cracks are nasty and they went deeper than expected. So I went there. Um, dash kanji, anyone? I uh, should have left it just to make people angry. Uh, so yeah, uh, you gotta get some Bondo fiberglass mix. Um, that stuff's great. Uh, make sure you clean your surface really well when you're doing this. Um, and uh, make sure you also, when you're making your cuts, make sure it's kind of like a valley, you know, so that you have something for it to all like adhere to, has a good surface to really grab onto. Um, so it was really hot out, everything was drying pretty quick, so I did a pretty messy job, as you can see. Uh, it can all be sanded down, so try not to worry too much, but uh, I'd say the thinner coat, the better, uh, but shit was getting crazy for me, so that's, that's just how it happened for me. <laughs> Yep, so I actually uh, remembered to wear a mask that one time. <laughs> and uh, so this is the uh, second sand down, I believe. So things are filled and looking good, but there are still some small areas that I over sanded. So I had to add a third layer that uh, turned out really good. That's my, my final layer. I should have, honestly, I should have even done it better, thinner, but uh, yeah, I'm, uh, once, once it gets hot out, the lacking in anything kind of happens with me. <laughs> so after you've sanded that down and you are pretty much ready for some flocking action, make sure you like alcohol wipe everything down. The sun was already beating on this and not doing me any favors. The sun was directly on it. I just, I'd started it late because I had to re-sand some stuff and yeah, you learn, you learn. Make sure you get those Bondo mixtures uh, perfect and <laughs> Bondo and hardener. Uh, there were two dimples, uh, raised dimples in the dash that I just couldn't get out and I didn't want to over sand it and I didn't want to uh, add too much Bondo to my dash. So whatever, I can redo all this if I want. This is my first time. Um, I didn't get a video of me putting the adhesive on the dash. There's a black adhesive, whatever color you want. Uh, so you put it on and you literally have like seven minutes of working time. So you gotta flock the shit out of your dash. <laughs> so get to work and uh, flock everything. <laughs> this stuff gets everywhere, okay? Everywhere, as you can see. Uh, I would wear a mask if I were you. I just didn't have the time uh, to just do any of that because of how fast things were drying. Uh, look how beautiful it looks. It looks like a gorgeous carpet. <laughs> so I went back to it the next day. It looked beautiful still, but there was a couple small spots that the paint must have, the, the adhesive must have dried early and it didn't adhere as good as I wanted it. So, I reflocked those areas. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did it and I did it really lightly and you know, it ended up working out. I just I just wanted it all to look black. I didn't want it to look like it was aged from 1980s, um, which is kind of cool too. So yeah, I, uh, I flocked some more. I, I liked it, I didn't really like it, but um, yeah, here's how it turned out. This is my first time ever doing something like this. I'm really happy with it. I'm so excited about it. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do some more flocking because I don't give a flock and I like to flock now. <laughs> but um, yeah, so now I can put my dash uh, all together and uh, put my windshield back in and yeah, that's about it. So next time on the Starlet Build, <laughs> bye. Star, star, that rebounds, but first the outcome sweet.